bobbin installation. Install with the threaded side facing inward. If the bobbin inner diameter is larger than 20 millimeters, print a support that fits the inner diameter through hole diameter 8 millimeters. Feed spools with an inner diameter of 8 minus 20 mm can be used directly without additional support. Most spools will fit as long as they have a through hole. If the hole is very small, you can use a round shaft instead. A slight texture on the spool surface provides mild resistance to prevent free spinning. The winding bobbin installs in the same way as the feed spool. The winding bobbin shaft diameter is 4 mm. The minimum supported bobbin inner diameter is 6 mm. You can also 3D print a bobbin to match the D shaft. Sliding swing arm. The arm contains locating beads and can slide smoothly along the guide rail. The arm supports three position adjustment. Choose the position based on spool size. And try to keep the wire outlet as close to the winding point as possible to improve winding quality. If this is the first power-up or after a system update, run device calibration first. The device will auto-adjust rotation direction and maximum stroke according to the encoder motor model. Before setting parameters, measure the wire diameter and the bobbin width. If you plan to wind by length, also measure the winding bobbin diameter. Select the preset you want to modify. Leave a small clearance when entering wire diameter. For example, enter 1.8mm for 1.75mm filament. When entering bobbin width, decide whether the wire outlet is inside the width. If it is inside, subtract 1mm. Here the outlet is inside, so we entered a width of 58.5 mm leaving a 1 mm clearance. Only enter the bobbin diameter when winding by length, otherwise you can ignore this parameter. Manually rotate the bobbin to check the wire movement direction. If the displayed number increases, the rotation direction is correct. If not, switch the winding direction. During parameter tuning, you can set the Z-axis initial value to zero for faster response. Before tuning, you may disable brake detection. You can also insert the filament to avoid failure to start due to no material detected. Set an approximate x-axis initial position, then start the device. After starting, the device will pause at the initial point. Observe the offset between the outlet and the winding position, and adjust the X parameter. Parameters cannot be changed while running, so press stop first. Then modify the X initial value to the correct position. Run again and observe the result.
the x-axis is now roughly calibrated. Next, perform a test run. Set the retractable shaft to an appropriate depth. The closer the outlet is to the bobbin, the better. Because the z-axis can move freely up and down, collision is unlikely. Start the test run. The previous X adjustment was to place the Z-axis outlet at the bobbin edge. The run will pause automatically at the initial point. During testing you can press continue to resume. If you hear periodic noise during operation, the outer sliding arm may be too close and causing friction. If there is slight rubbing at the outer edge, make appropriate adjustments. After stopping, reduce the bobbin width by 0.5 mm to reduce friction. Also move the arm slightly outward. After adjustments, run again to confirm. Fine tune is needed. I have tested multiple times here, so we will proceed to the formal test run. Thread the filament through the brake detector, then insert it into the retractable shaft. Use masking tape to lightly secure the filament at about a third of its length. Note, do not tape 3D printing filament too tightly. If taped too firmly, the AMS may pull the tape into the system along with the filament. Therefore, the adhesive between the masking tape and the base must be stronger than the tape to filament adhesion. Manually wind a few turns to improve startup stability. While manually winding, the x-axis will dynamically follow, so accuracy is not a concern. All set begin formal winding. With brake detection enabled, the device will pause automatically when winding is complete. Press stop to finish winding. For the turns and length parameters, entering zero means no limit. If both turns and length are set, the system will stop when the first condition is met. When the Z-axis is enabled, after completing each layer of turns, the Z-axis will retract by one wire diameter. That's the summary. If you have other questions, please leave a message on the website.